In this video, I'm going to break down one of my favorite little uh, meshing combinations uh, that you could have in Madden 22. It's great five out play, really great horizontal uh, passing attack that's going to be able to manipulate pretty much any defense, especially if they are utilizing zone drops where they're dropping zones deeper uh, on the field to try to take away some of those deep crossing routes. This is a phenomenal play for that situation. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. We're going to be in the New England Patriots playbook today discussing the trips tight end formation, which is my favorite offense in the game right now. I think that the beauty of New England is that it has so many other formations that you can get to. You could run some U-trips, some bunch, some tight slots, some spread. Um, it's also got some really good under center stuff, uh, as well as a nice little goal line formation in the heavy Patriot. But the bottom line is trips tight end is, is such a fun formation to run. I've got a full ebook on that over at our Patreon membership. If you're not a Patreon member, it's only $10 a month to sign up. But the really cool part about the Patreon membership is you're not only going to get the trips tight end ebook with updates as the year has gone on, but you're also going to get all 15 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides as well as all of the updates that I've released over the course of the season that kind of keeps those guides up to date and fresh so that you're always on top of the game. So again, uh, if you want to sign up for that, it's only $10 a month. You'll also, by signing up for that, be able to get access to any new stuff, any future updates or new eBooks that I release in the future. You just get everything for $10 a month. So it's a great deal. If you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below where you can do that. Now the play we're gonna be talking about in this video specifically, um, especially if you don't have Hot Route Apprentice or a Hot Route Master, I apologize, is the PA slot corner. Um, but you can actually do this from any play. It's mainly Hot Routes, which is cool. I like to do this out of PA counter go, but you can do this out of PA slot corner if you don't have um, the Hot Route Master ability. Now what we're gonna do here, and I'm just gonna audible to PA corner, is we're going to really kind of bank on the fact that our opponent is going to be again trying to even if they stretch us in a terms of a horizontal coverage where they're trying to play hard flats and yellow zones what this is going to do for us is it's going to continue to kind of pull that apart so the setup for this is fairly simple we're going to curl the outside receiver we're going to drag the inside slot receiver and the tight end so you see it looks like this i like to smart route this route if you're running it out of pa slot corner just gets it a little bit deeper and then we're going to wheel the running back. Okay, so you see how this works. Now, our first read on this is actually going to be our running back to the flat. If we can hit this, we're going to take it. And most of the time, you'll be able to hit that route. Most of the time, your running back will be pretty much open. Even if they're playing hard flats, you're going to force them to have to do something on purpose to try to stop this. Okay, they're going to have to do something on purpose. Again, once he gets inside leverage, just an inside pass lead with a low point. Uh, or low pass it inside and as you can see it gets wide open now one of the other things that i want to just quickly point out with this is you're going to notice that this uh, post route on the left side um, so once we look at the wheel we're going to look to this the mesh of course typically one of these two drags will be open almost every single time especially right in the middle of the field and here's why because if you think about the way that most people are playing defense, especially at this point in the year, you're gonna see something that looks basically like this. Now their user is gonna be in the middle of the field. And typically what that's gonna mean is their user is looking um, for any kind of deep crosser or any kind of other route that they can that they can kind of cover, okay? So whenever you go to this concept right here, what you're gonna notice is I look to the wheel, okay, there's people out there, okay, I come back, oh, he's wide open, I'll take it. Why? Because you're going to notice that the user is already climbing to the back level of this defense where the deep post or the, the, the post to the triangle receiver is coming from. However, if the user, let's say he, um, let's say that the user decides they're going to try to take away that, that drag from left to right, um, then what you're going to notice within this concept is you're going to be looking wheel, nope, oh, drag, nope, oh, I can throw that though. And you see how that post route is going to come right in behind um, of that drag. So you're really high lowing the middle of the field defenders. And the other cool part about this is the, the backside check down. So again, let's say they're in just kind of a basic little, um, you know, Mabel concept, if you will. What you're going to notice is now you're going to look to this drag over here and you're going to notice that he's going to pull all the zones out of the way. 
And if he's not open, then that means that your curl route will be. Now I wanna show you a scenario where the tight end will likely get open, and that is against a standard curl flat that doesn't have zone drop. So I'm looking here, no, drags, no, come back across. Oh, they actually stay on the curl, and I can check that down to the tight end. I'll show you that one more time. I got shedded. So again, we're going drag, drag. If you don't, if you have Hot Master, you can just put him on a slot apprentice post. If you don't, just run PA slot corner. Boom, no, no, come back. Oh, he's staying high. Okay, we'll just take that check down. And as you see, you're going to get about five uh, to ten yards, regardless of what they're going to do. And that's one of the reasons why uh, I really like this concept. Now, another thing that you can do is let's say that late in the play, so they typically won't do this, but let's just say that they're going to go lurk on the tight end because they've usered that that post, but now they're going to let it go. So they let it go, and you're going to see it's going to come open right on the sideline right there and notice that's about 25 24 yards so if they're playing zone drops oftentimes this running back wheel will pull any zone drops back with it especially purple zones um, and then what you'll be able to do is hit this post late in the play so it's an early read but it's also a late read that you can hit kind of right on that sideline um, there i threw it just a little bit too early allowed the defender to break on the ball let me show it to you one more time and again, you've got your drags. Your drags are almost always open, especially from trips tight end. As you see here, let the running back kind of pull the guy out, and you can hit this route. So again, really simple route combination, just a simple mesh concept. Um, against the against the cover zero blitz, so like let's say they send five, um, and then they're going to use her in the middle of the field. What I want you to notice here real quickly is the drag to the tight end is almost always open against man coverage. Um, it's a very, very effective little read that you can have access to against man-to-man. -man. The other thing is the drag and the wheel combo uh, is actually really hard to guard in man. The reason why is because the guy that's on in man coverage on the running back is typically going to switch, and then you can low ball because he's going to have inside positioning on that player. So you're getting a nice little swap off. If they are in traditional like cover two uh, man coverage, what you're going to notice here is you're going to get another swap off. So you notice there again, and you see I've got this guy outside leverage, so I can just pass lead that outside, and the running back is going to continue to be a threat. The beauty of this is it gets them out of blitzing you. And if you can force, if you can send five out and force them to not have a lot of success in terms of their ability to blitz you, because again, you got to remember they're going to be standing, they're going to be right here with their user, and they're going to probably take the tight end drag when he comes across. But the beauty of this concept here is we don't just have the tight end drag because if they go with the tight end drag, well, then now you've got this drag coming back across and the running back is pulling the flat zones out of the way. Just like the curl route on the left side is pulling the flat, pulling the flat zones uh, out of the way as well. So let me show you that one more time and show you one other read that I really like against this. If they are truly going to send pressure at you and you're real confident in your ability to throw a wheel, just you want to low ball that. And again, I did a terrible job right there. I'll show it one more time. The wheels are a little tricky. You basically, again, defenses do react a little bit differently depending on their ratings, depending on a lot of things, depending on their zones, their zone drops, all of that stuff. But what I'm getting at here with this is you're just throwing the wheel open. So if he has outside leverage, you throw him to the outside. Inside leverage, you throw him inside. So here you see the hard flats outside leverage. So now I can throw, and again, I'm getting terrible animations, but I can throw that with a low pass, and I'll show it one more time just to show you that I can. Um, and, of course, you have to remember that – you know, you do have your double drags. You know, it's, it really is a great route to have um, if they're going to blitz you because either one of those drags can pop open really easily. But again, here, I'm just getting pressured. I guess too fast to hit it. If you if you get super pressured, you may not want to throw that wheel route. You may want to go ahead and just and just move to your next read. So I'll show that one more time. But the beauty of this is you're going to put the user in a position where he has to choose. And the other cool part about this is your post is going to be wide open and behind it. So let's say he runs with the tight end or he runs, you know, really the best the best user is going to probably run with your tight end and then go to uh, Scotty Miller. Well, where they're going to, you know, again, be kind of let down here is you're going to have that right there where you can, again, hit them for easy gains. So the beauty of this concept is, and again, you're not going to always, you know, 
this is by no means a concept that is bulletproof. I mean, there are holes within it, but by and large, this is a great little play. And, um, you know, again, this little wheel right here is so good. Uh, but if you can master it, you the, the trick with wheel routes this year is you don't necessarily want to throw them if you're being under pressure because you could throw them a little too early and the zone can react. But if you have time, you can easily throw it. And then, of course, learning to read that mesh really good. It's a lot easier this year because the user's not as good. And you can just force them to have to choose one of those three to four things and you're gonna be wide open. So anyways, that is the mesh concept out of trips, or at least one of the ways that I like to run it. If you wanna learn more about the trips tight end offense, you wanna learn the entire scheme, join the Patreon. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description of the video. Just a reminder with the Patreon, by joining it's only $10 a month and it unlocks all of my Madden 22 products, everything. You get access to everything for just $10 a month, including any new stuff and updates as long as your membership is active. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. So if you're still watching and you're interested, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.